But I just look round now and I see that on radio on Six Music, Radio One, One Extra, Radio Two, which come under the umbrella of the BBC's pop stations, uh, there's um two there are two women over sixty. And um one is Elaine Page, who does a specialist show on Sunday on Radio 2, Musical Theatre. And the other one is Anne Nightingale, who was the first ever female DJ on UK Pop Radio. And she records her show, and it goes out at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's an hour long, and um, they, they keep Annie there, and, and, and I'm glad. But the, other than that, on four mm. networks, each broadcasting for 168 hours a week, 24-7, there are two women producing maximum of four hours radio over the age of 60. Look round further and you'll see it's not the case for the guys. No. Yes, yeah, Steve, no, Steve Wright's gone for lots of reasons, but, and he's gone with great dignity, but um, if you look round, there are, there are guys in their late 70s. Um, I'm, I don't, I'm loath to... Name names because that's not personal to them. No, I but we know who you mean. We know but who like, you mean. But people like my like Johnny Walker, Paul Gambaccini, Tony Blackburn. It's quite okay for the guys to go on in perpetuity. And and also there's a precedent because I was um, told I was no longer required when just after my sixty second birthday. Same thing happened to Janice Long. In 2017, Janice happened to be 62 when after doing night shifts on Radio 2 since 1999, um, she was told she was no longer required and she was 62. So I just look around and think, mm. what's going on? And then I look at the rest of the BBC news. There isn't a female newsreader over 60. No. Um, they've got Kirsty Walk on Newsnight, but she's about to be replaced by Victoria Derbyshire. As the um, presenter, yeah. It's, it's just to me, it's just so evident. Um, but it's it's not just we've been talking earlier um, about music and musicians. It, it's it's not just about me. In fact, it's not about me at all because I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy to be out of that place because now I can express my views. Yes. I, Without getting sinister phone calls, <laughs> yes. it's all out of the day from the management. You don't want to be there, Liz.